Good morning, October 3rd, 2023. <sighs> Perfect and holy Lord God, our words are futile. when what is done in unseen places don't line up with them. And so we seek to glorify you in the unseen realms first, so that our words may be flavored and savored with kingdom likeness, power and glory because of who you are in us. because of surrender, because of awareness. We seek this higher path, this path of awareness, of awakeness, this journey of surrender, to have eyes to see and ears to hear what the spirit is saying and showing us. Oh, great God, great spirit of God. You who have authority over the whole earth, Your kingdom is ever expanding and ever enlarging, even as we surrender. For as we surrender, the kingdom enlarges and creates. This is a mystery, a mystery of the kingdom. As we contract in this world, as we are broken as we see, as we surrender, as we fall down. So you are lifted up through us. So you are glorified. So your kingdom is magnified in this world, in this earth. Through these temples, we seek your higher path, the path of awakeness, the path of awareness through the self, through the soul, where you meet us in darkness. For you yourself have said that we are dark yet lovely and we house this divine presence. You have given us all that we need in this world. You said yourself that we would be in this world, but not of it. You prayed for us, knowing that we would be in this world, but that you would call us out of this world. And that call is growing stronger by the Spirit, calling us to become awake and aware through the self, through the soul. In this path of laying down, that you may be lifted up and you may draw. Through your magnetism of love, light, glory, holiness, power, we acknowledge your kingdom, we acknowledge your path. We acknowledge your calling, Holy Spirit. We acknowledge that our words are futile, our analyses are empty. We acknowledge that our egos seek 
to be upfront, to be seen, to be known. Our egos seek an audience. They seek accolades. They seek pats on the back for what is futile, fleeting, and burning away even at this very moment. We acknowledge that our egos slash our flesh deceive us, that we have deceptions we don't even know about. And we are needy of you. And we lean into you by grace through surrender. And we call out to you, O oh God, that our eyes would be opened more and more, that we would be given sight. And that through this sight, we may respond. And that through our response by grace, through faith, the sound of heaven may be created through us. New sounds of heaven that reverberate the kingdom through the realms. We seek the higher path, the one that few go by, the one that takes the road alone with you, but that affects all in the spiritual realms and manifests heaven on earth. We seek to understand your higher mind, the mind of Christ, the mind of love, the mind of deliverance out of darkness, the mind of truth, we seek your higher mind, O oh God, that realizes that we can only take our own journey singularly, and yet as we surrender in that journey and we acknowledge and we truly see the works of darkness reflected back to us in our own ego, in our own flesh. And we take that path through redemption into abundance, that that abundance in itself on the singular path affects the whole because we are one with the whole. And we renounce acts of the ego that seek to control and manipulate the paths of others. We renounce these acts of deception, self-deception, that believe that I am okay and I need to change others. For this concept in itself is separation, although it doesn't understand where I end and you begin, where I end and the other begins, because I seek to control and manipulate, to dominate over others' paths, to steer the paths of others, to control, to bend. Only pure light bends in the spiritual realms, pure, holy, perfect light. We call to you, O oh God, that this light may permeate our being and touch humanity in the process and bend. Even as we bend and we humble ourselves, O oh God, and we give up the stiff-neckedness, the stoicness of the ego. Pour your oil upon us, O oh God, that we may bend with you, that we may soften with you, that we may see, that we may be flexible with your spirit, 
that you may move all the dark energies through us and out of us, O God. Even as you breathe through us and we bend further and further and further with you like the waves of the sea ebb and flow with your breath. We are subject to your spiritual law, O oh God, but our egos forget this. Our egos fall into self-delusion that we may usurp your law, O oh God, and for this we repent and we renounce these deceptions even as we are so needy of sight, true sight in the spirit. We can do nothing apart from you. But with you, all things are possible. You can move at light speed. You can break sound barriers. You can move through the dimensions. And it all starts and ends the alpha and the omega inside of us. That is the journey. And we declare it and acknowledge it right now. Permeate our hearts, pierce our hearts with your truth, O oh God, in our singular journey with you that touches humanity. As we let go of false ideations that we can control the reality of others so that our ego can fulfill its own desires, can calm its own fears, can will its own works in this world. Deliver us out of this world, O oh God. Continue by your spirit to deliver us out of this world. As we abide where eyes cannot see, physical eyes cannot see, but where spiritual eyes have sight, as we abide and we live and dwell, in the life-giving vine. Saturate us, O oh God, with overflowing waters, the rivers of life. That those waters may touch the parched lands. For you alone satiate us, O oh God. You satisfy us with life. through your truth. Cause our hearts and our minds to love truth, O oh God, that our minds may stretch high. Cause our minds to stretch high for truth, O oh God, to reach high for truth, O oh God, that they may ascend. Out of lower realms of hell and deceptions, that keep us in cycles of victimhood and suffering, especially the suffering that we bring upon others. Oh God, we repent that we may not bring suffering upon others, oh God. Oh Lord. That we may not bring suffering upon others in any way, deliberately. Clear our karmic realms, O oh God. And we know that this is done by walking and working with your Holy Spirit to clear the karma. And this takes diligence, perseverance, character. It takes moment by moment surrender. It takes acknowledgement to see. It takes the burning away of the pride, the crucifixion, and the annihilation of the ego. It is this path that embraces the annihilation of the ego, the self-sabotager, that we may not cause others to suffer in any way. 
God, we seek your highest will, even if that will requires hard things, difficult things, letting go. Even when our hearts are broken, oh God, we want to surrender to your will and your way, the higher way. Help us to admit that we don't know. That in this world, we are so small. But in your kingdom, we are the fullness of your glory that permeates the universe. This is truth. This is higher truth.